Hey Vikes, today we'll be taking a look at the Civil Rights Movement. I'm Darren. And I'm Mason, and your news starts now. Fifty-five years ago today, Martin Luther King Jr. gave the I Have a Dream speech. We talked to some teachers to get their perspective on the historic day and the impact it has had on the civil rights movement. Of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. Fifty-five years ago today, Martin Luther King gave the I Have a Dream speech, a speech that made a huge impact on the civil rights movement. We can talk to some teachers to get their perspective on the movement. I think it's an interesting question, the importance of the Civil Rights Movement. I, I think you're asking um, the importance of any part of American history, whether it's the women's suffrage movement or whether that's um, talking about Native Americans and the push for their rights. So the Civil Rights Movement tends to get put in the frame of African American rights, which it generally is. Martin Luther King is the face of the Civil Rights Movement. He is the figure that, if you say civil rights, usually his name, his face and his name come up. And I, that's due in large part to his leadership um, with the civil rights organizations, um, his I Have a Dream speech in Washington, um, the March on Washington, um, his push for better treatment of the poor, all of those are associated with Martin Luther King and his nonviolent uh, methods. Yeah, and it's incredible that 55 years ago, he is still such an important figure today that we all follow and we strive to honestly be like. He felt that everyone was equal, and again, it was judged on your character, and that, you know, 55 years ago may not seem like a too terribly long ago, but it was um, before many of us were born. And it's, it's just very powerful that he still lives on today through all of us. I think the I Have a Dream speech sort of sets a yardstick for what the Civil Rights Movement was all about. Um, you know, the goal in the end is not just desegregating lunch counters and schools, it's um, creating a society where you're, you're judged based, based on the content of your character rather than the appearance that you may have. Um, and trying to hold America um, up to the standard of the Declaration of Independence as well, right? All men are created equal. Um, and I think we still have some ways to go, um, but it's something that we can strive towards and look, look to the past for a yardstick or a measurable sort of mm -hmm. thing as to where we are today. Civil rights is an important discussion our country is having. It's important to stay informed and remember our past and what people like Martin Luther King have done to make this a better country. We will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, we are free at last. That was a pretty impactful day. Now let's go to the news. Clinics for the fall play will be held in the auditorium tonight at 315 and auditions will be tomorrow at 315. If you have any questions, see Diva in W18. The International Thespian Society is hosting a clinic tonight from 3.30 to 4.30 for anyone interested in working backstage. See Miss Murphy in W7 for more details. The last show choir clinic is tomorrow at 4 in the choir room, and the auditions will be Thursday at 4. Stop by or email Mr. Bond for more information. The 31st is the last day to turn in your online application and form to take a dual credit class. Juniors and below can go to see Mr. Elliott's room September 5th to sign up for a trip to Boston and New York. For more information, see Mr. Elliott or Mr. McAllister. Students need to be, make sure to park in their right spot. If your spot's taken, then park in the Student of the Month section. Now over to sports.
trying to get a large caramelized coffee. The theme for, for our season opener at Hummer Sports Park is blue out. Soccer and volleyball are starting their seasons today, so get, go out there and show them some support. Now we'll go over to Josh with the weather. Good afternoon to you. As promised, we are tracking a risk for severe weather. However, I wanna say this, it is a little bit lower than I was thinking just 24 hours ago. Here's the latest outlook from the Storm Prediction Center. You can see the slight risk has been shifted a little bit to our northwest, northeast, and that's where I think the better chance for severe weather will be today. However, we still can't completely rule out any of the, ha any of the hazards. This includes tornado, wind, hail, or even flooding if storms were to backbuild later on into the night. Let's take a look at this on our future radar here. You can see some storms could now develop throughout the day, pretty much any time between now and the next several hours. So that's why the threat for severe weather is a little bit lower. There's just going to be less available energy in the atmosphere. But as we go into this afternoon, it does heat up. That's one thing that hasn't changed with this forecast. Lower 90s with very humid conditions is going to make it feel unpleasant outside today. But as you travel west out toward Goodland, that's where they got the smiley faces. It'll be much more comfortable after that cold front pushes through. And then that air comes down to us tomorrow. We're tracking highs in the upper 70s, but that muggy and warmer air sticks around in southeastern parts of the state. Now we're not done yet. There are a couple more chances for scattered thunderstorms as we head into Wednesday and Thursday night. However, I think it's gonna stay pretty hit and miss we're not expecting widespread rain for everyone. And now for your SVTV seven day forecast, you can see that we do warm up Thursday, Friday, but cool down a little bit over the weekend and into Monday, we are looking at perhaps some storms on Saturday as well. Now back to your anchors. Thanks Josh, that's all we have for today, Vikes. Catch you next time, stay classy.